Jesus warned his disciples about causing others to stumble and said it would be better to be thrown into the sea than cause harm. He urged them to forgive those who repent, even repeatedly. When the apostles asked for more faith, Jesus replied that even small faith can achieve great things. He also taught that after doing what is expected, they should humbly consider themselves as only having done their duty, not expecting special thanks. One day, Jesus met ten men that had leprosy. Leprosy is a wildly spreading skin disease. Lepers had disfigured skin and open wounds. Many people were afraid to get infected by them, so they had to live outside the cities and villages so people did not get close to them. The ten men stopped at a distance to Jesus and asked him, Jesus, can you help us? Jesus told them, go to the hospital and let them check your health. Once they were on their way there, they were all healed. One of them was so happy about being healed that he started to praise God with a loud voice. He returned to Jesus and thanked him. Didn't I heal 10 people? Jesus asked. Where are the other nine? Don't they want to thank God for their healing? To the man who came, he said, your faith in me has made you healthy. Jesus told the Pharisees that the kingdom of God is not something visible, but already in their midst. He warned his disciples not to chase rumors about his return, as it will be sudden and obvious, like lightning. Before this, he must first be rejected and suffer. He compared his return to the days of Noah and Lot, when people were unaware of impending destruction. He urged them to be ready, not attached to possessions, and reminded them that some will be taken while others will be left behind. When asked where, Jesus responded with a reference to vultures gathering around a dead body.